Okay, second ties the charm. Dr. Beth Westy here. Hello. I'm going to be talking about fat cell secrets, some important things to understand about fat cells, the importance of them, and really how to eat for burning more fat, real food, real eating. Um, this is all in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. And if you are interested in joining the next group that we have going, you can click the link and learn more. Nutrition that matches hormones, how to work with stress, how to really work with your body instead of fighting against it. And this is gonna help you achieve a whole new level of results. Amazing. Oh, hi, Katie. <laughs> so. One of the things that um, I chat about a lot with people, I've got all my markers here on my whiteboard. I love writing on my whiteboard. One of the things that I chat about a lot with people is the fact that um, people think about the way that they're eating and trying to eat healthy, uh, but there's so many different trends out there. There's so many different ways of eating, dietary plans, nutrition ideas, all these things that can be really distracting in terms of what's going to get you the right result for you. So a lot of times um, people will think things like, oh, I really want to get healthier. I want to get more fit. I want to be in shape better. I want to feel healthier, better, or get more energy. How do I do that? Oh, I know. I'm going to follow this little piece of advice here or this little thing here. I'm going to start eating salads for lunch or I'm going to eat this for a snack or I'm going to drink this tea. I saw this thing and this is, this is the thing that makes me crazy about how women are targeted for some of these crazy weight loss things where I'm like, that's not even a, that's not a thing. Like that's totally made up. But I know people buy it because you're thinking this is like a quick fix or something like that. And that's going to help you get you some result or whatever, right? Oh, it worked for that person. Mm. Right? No. Oh. So part of this is one, I get frustrated that women I feel are targeted in terms of products or other things that are not meant for our bodies at all and don't really work. And then the other part is too, is that women are completely left out of the conversation in terms of real health and nutrition research and what really works best for our bodies. So um, with that in mind, <laughs> I get a little fired up about it. <laughs> um, things I want to talk about with fat cells for women is these are a few things that are really important for women to understand about how your body works because that's going to let you know more about how to move forward and get the result that you want to get. So women's bodies are created differently than men's bodies. Duh, right? Mm. Um, even so much so that the, the makeup and the amino acids of our muscles are different. And the way that our body stores fat is different than men's. And fat storage happens because of a lot of different reasons, but one of them is from stress, another one from hormones, which are some of the main things that women kind of battle with on a relative daily basis in terms of your health. So when you're really thinking about the struggle of, oh, I'm trying to get this result, why is this not happening for me, yet it's really tied to on a level of it has to do with your health, your stress, your hormones, and the way that your body's storing fat because of that. So when we talk about um, a lot of this information here, and these are my art skills, right? Great art skills. Um, if you guys have questions, also I should mention this, by the way, you go ahead and feel free to comment. If you're not comfortable commenting on the video, just feel free to send me a message. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have, um, you know, about this topic or any other issues that you have. And then if you find this information helpful, if you could click the share button, that would be amazing. So more people can get this information too. So fat cells will store more energy, more calories uh, for a lot of different reasons. So a lot of times people think, oh, I'm just eating bad. I'm eating bad, so I'm going to store more energy. Mm, maybe. If you're eating too much, even if you're eating healthy food, you can eat too much for what your body needs and it will store it. If your hormones are off, your body will store it. <clears throat> I should back up. This is a fat cell. <laughs> this is my It's a circle. It's my drawing of a fat cell. And fat cells normally should be thin, flat little pancakes. They have like a nucleus and all these other things, you know, like cell, right? You guys are getting flashbacks from biology class. Yes. Yes. That. Okay. But normally when there's too much other energy, you know, these are other things, sugars, energy that gets ingested, it gets stored in the fat cell here. So that's why it blows up like a balloon. Your body is a dynamic thing. So it's very adaptable and it, and it acclimates to a lot of different things on a, kind of a minute-to-minute -minute basis sometimes, right? 
your body's very reactive. I mean, as soon as you start eating food, the digestive process starts and, and different things happen. So don't ever think of it, everything being always stagnant and the same, which is also kind of tough when you're trying to get your metabolism going and burn more fat, right? But your fat cells are normally like this. When there's excess energy and things involved, then it gets stored within the fat cell, so it blows up like, like a balloon. You don't get more fat cells, they just get bigger. So the trick is, is that how do we get our fat cells smaller? Because people say, I want to lose fat or I want to lose weight. And those, that terminology isn't actually correct for what's going on, but everybody wants the scale to go down or your butt to fit in your jeans better or something like that. So totally get it. But when you understand kind of what's going on, you can think about the way you're fueling your body differently and have a better result, especially for women. So this is where the, the thing for women comes into play. So a lot of times for guys, they will notice an increase in these fat cells very quickly. They can acclimate to this, and this will happen rapidly for men, but also the opposite will happen very rapidly for men. For women, our bodies work on a different timeline. It takes at least three months for a hormone shift to fully happen in the body. It's, it's just how long it takes. So... Um, a lot of times when you're working with different hormonal impacts here too, so say you have a lot of, ex this is just energy, the green is energy, say you have excess stress in your body too, that excess stress can get stored within those fat cells, and now it's not going to, it's not going to break open, it's not going to use this energy because there's excess cortisol hormone stored within here too, so you have to target this fat cell to make it release and then release that cortisol. But then on the same effect too, you have to process through all of it. There's, it's a lot of work that your body systems have to do. And with an increased stress in your, in your system, it's tougher to go through. Women have a, I don't want to say a slower response time, um, but it's just a different processing time for a lot of these hormones. So when women have a higher amount of stress and the reaction and response to stress is so different, that the way our bodies process everything and to have this fat cell go from a, a big blown up fat cell to a smaller one, it just takes a different amount of time and a different amount of effort. So it's, um, oh, thanks Katie. <laughs> so it's a really, I want to say different way of thinking about working with your body and your health to get you that different result. A lot of times people will say, just cut calories, just cut calories. Just cutting calories isn't going to do it. Uh, if you, you really need to fuel your body, give it the nutrient boost it needs, otherwise just cutting calories is actually going to add to the stress. When you increase the stress of your body, then this is going to continue to happen. So this is the biggest thing that women miss out on, is that they're thinking, oh, uh, I, I'm going to go on this diet and I'm going to just cut my calories down, or I'm going to skip a meal, or I'm going to do whatever. Well, that adds the stress that keeps this process going. So now you're stuck in this cycle, this horrible cycle of, I'm trying to be healthy, I'm going to the gym, and I'm working out for an hour or two hours, and then I'm cutting a meal, or I'm cutting these calories. Why am I not seeing this result? Why are these fat cells not being targeted? Um, because you're already under stress, that's why it got stored in the first place. Your hormones are imbalanced, and now you're adding more stress and more imbalance for your body and not giving it the nutrients that it needs. It's gonna say, no! No way! Leave it alone! This is the protective. I need this. Mm -hmm. Women's bodies. And this is, I mean, this, these are, I want to say some of this information is you just think about, right? Like your body will store extra fat, you know, for having babies, all these things. Yes, that's what our bodies are designed to do, which is a really cool thing. But if you're like, oh, okay, so now I've been doing all these things wrong. Uh, this is not the right thing to do. How do I change this? How do I get a better result? How do I work it so that I can target these fat cells so that I can get my hormones under control and that I know I'm doing the right thing. Well, this is, so this is why I'm writing this whole big book. You know, I have, a, you know, a chapter on all these different bodies that women go through in their lifetime because you will need different things nutritionally, different age, different things that you go through. Um, so glad to hear that cutting calories is not the answer. I felt the way for the, yes, right? Oh, everybody just is like, oh, just cut your calories. That'll do it. Pfft. It's not that simple. If it was just that simple, it, it would be super easy to be at the exact weight that you want to be at all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not that simple. And especially for women's bodies, it is definitely not that simple. So when we talk, and so in the nutrition plan that I have, and this is one of the things I wanted to mention here in terms of there's techniques in there. I go through intermittent fasting, carb cycling, 
you know, nutrient dense food, getting a lot of protein, all those things are going to help increase your metabolism, target these fat cells specifically, use the energy within them, release a lot of that excess hormone to help regulate everything. But the important thing to really understand too is that it, it doesn't happen overnight for women. So the timing of it is also really important because you can do all these great things or say, I'm going to do this and, and get two weeks in and say, I'm not seeing that result. Maybe this isn't working for me or maybe it wasn't stress for me. And I got to tell you, like I said earlier, three months is what it takes for women to have that hormonal impact. There are some women, and the, you, you may be thinking this might be you, that you've had so much stress, so much stuff going on in your life where it's gotten backlogged and so many things are going on. You, maybe you've been ill, got injured, other stress things, you moved, you know, I mean, the list could go on and on. All of a sudden, this gets really, really tightly packed in there. So in terms of it taking three months, that's a start for some people. Some gals, that three month mark, they're like, woo, I'm doing awesome. I just heard from a gal the other day, um, amazing result. She had a lot of hormonal issues when we started, um, was really discouraged, all these things, down almost 9% body fat in three months. That, that's amazing. And she's focused on the nutrition. I mean, you, so, you know, doing exercise, and of course, that's, that's really good stuff, and I'll be talking about that later, but nutrition changing almost 9% body fat is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So that's a really great start, but not everybody starts there. For some women, that three month time chunk is really just like, you know, swiping the dust off and now you're ready to get to work. It's priming the body. Sometimes it just takes that long. So depending on what you may have going on, just know that it's okay if it takes longer for you because you're at a different starting point. Some, some people they're at the starting line and they're just ready to take off and then they're seeing all these great results, right? Yeah, great. But you may be on a completely different ball field right? Baseball season is starting. So my son's in baseball. So I might be using some baseball references now. Um, so, it, and that's okay too. Um, <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. 1200 calories a day is not a thing. Okay. Not a thing. So it's very, it's okay. If you're at a different starting place, it's okay. If it takes you a different amount of time, don't get discouraged. Just know that your body is at a different place. Also realize that for some people when they notice a huge change or shift in a short period of time, and this is just an example, right? I'm just going to throw this out there, but say somebody says, I lost, you know, 15 pounds in the first month or something like that. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And sometimes that's not actually healthy to do. But realize that if somebody's changing body fat percentage, um, and that's a harder thing to do, by the way, than just changing the scale. If somebody's changing body fat percentage faster than somebody else, it may be that they have a bigger, a bigger gap to go than you do. So, you know, if you're trying to go from, again, like 40 to 35% body fat, you know, you might be able to get that first chunk a lot easier or go from 35 to 30 or 30 to 25, but maybe getting from 25 to 20 is a lot tougher. You know, again, these are just examples, but as you do different things, also know that you're going to have to change your tactics a little bit to get to the next level too. So that's also for gals that have been, I've been exercising, I've been working out, I've been being really healthy, I've been doing all these things. Great. And so you've gotten a certain result, but now you're stuck and you're like, uh, uh, nothing, nothing is working anymore. I'm still eating healthy. Why am I not continuing to see the right result? Because you've plateaued and your body's acclimated to what it's doing. When your body acclimates, it holds on to everything. And, th and then of course life gets in the way, like stress or other things like that. And there you go. Then you're gonna have more of those fat cells that just hold everything tight and snugly. Mmm, snugly, snugly for you. You're like, no, I don't want it. Mm, no, thank you. So, great tactics to get rid of it um, that I'll, I'll chat about in the next couple of days here. But I do wanna just kinda go through why this happens for women. Cause for some, for some gals, they get so frustrated. They're like, oh, I don't understand. How is this happening? How is this happening? This is how it happens. It stores everything and it holds on to it because it's trying to be protective. So there is that, yes. Um, also fun fact, and I'm just gonna cover this really, really briefly because I see it all the time on Facebook where people talk about cellulite or getting rid of cellulite and all these other things. 
And so this is an added thing. If you're not interested in cellulite, you don't have to watch this. But this makes me crazy when people talk about cellulite in women and get rid of the cellulite and blah, 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 blah. Uh, cellulite is natural in women and it's from the connective tissue. So fat cells are like this, big balloons, and the connective tissue in women looks like this. Mm -hmm. Like a lawn chair. It's like this. It's not parallel, it's perpendicular. It is perpendicular connective tissue. So these fat cells are in between here. So they pucker up like this in between that connective tissue and that's why you get that dimpled look. So when you see things that are like this cream or a roller thing or whatever else that says it's gonna get rid of cellulite, it literally can't because that's how your body is made and formulated. Fun fact, men, their connective tissue, do you want to know what their connective tissue looks like? Like that. It's all parallel. Parallel, running together. So their fat cells are all in between here. So when you try and dimple their leg together, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do the pucker thing. No, men's doesn't do the pucker thing like women does with cellulite because men's is parallel. So this is, this is men. Wow, that was really terrible. And this is women. Oh, this is cellulite. I'll write that here because this is a fat cell. Just in case you're wondering, this is, this is the cellulite here for women. So men don't have cellulite. And you'll wonder, yeah, now that you think about it, hmm, yeah, they don't target any of these like cellulite reducing things towards men. Yeah, because they don't have it. They literally don't have it because their bodies are not made that way. Mm -mm, just not formed that way at all. Women's bodies are formed that way with connective tissue that is hit, that is crisscrossed to hold fat cells in it just in case we need it. <sighs> side note, side note on how your body will want to store more fat. So you can do things to help smooth the, over the appearance or other things like that or different things with hydration and of course being healthier and all those other things. Actually, one of the things to firm up your tissue, I mean, I know there's a ton of creams and things out there that talk about that, sure. Um, but you can also make sure you're reducing the stress. The one thing that does deplete the collagen the most and wear that out and stretch it out more so not holding your skin tight is stress. Number one thing. And so that can come back to you know stress reduction techniques but also nutrition and adaptogens are my favorite for that because it helps to tighten up the, tighten up the skin. It helps decrease the effects of stress in your body so that it doesn't, you know, you don't have like that looser skin or, you know, it just smooths things over easier, but it's a nutritional thing. That also doesn't happen overnight. That takes time. But just a little difference again between women and men. Connective tissue. This is why women have cellulite and this is why men do not. So in terms of fat storage, don't be fooled by all that stuff out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so true. You hate stress nutrition. Yes. Yes. Minerals, yes, that's also really, really important for connective tissue too. Thank you, Katie. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys tonight. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, or if you would love to check out more information on the next group that I am starting, you can click the link and let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a great night. Um, yay. So busting up the fascia won't reduce cellulite. You, you can't. That's literally how it's made. You, you can't bust up your fascia. It's like a web of it. So, yeah. You can get scar tissue and things like that that you can work through, but the original layer network of fascia and connective tissue that's put in your body is like that, and it will always be like that, and it will be recreated like that again and again because that's how the female body is made. Yay! <laughs> Bring it in the sunshine on a Sunday night. Okay. All right. So if you guys have more questions, I can actually talk about this more. If you want, I can do a whole video on it. Um, just let me know. But I know this ties in with the fat storage and a lot of people have questions on that too. Um, I was also, we'll talk about too, if you want different targeting, different areas of the body, but this is kind of, this is how the body works. So, all right, everybody have a great night and I will see you guys later.